Hi everybody! Fashion show! How do you like my apron? So today is a very special day. That's why I'm wearing this apron. You know why? This apron, I bought this like a few years ago when I traveled to Korea. At the airport, the Incheon airport, I got this. So I saved, saved, saved this for this video recipe. <laughs> you know what I'm going to make? Doenjangjigae, Korean fermented soybean paste stew. Let's make doenjangjigae today. Doenjangjigae is the most popular stew among Koreans. This is almost everyday side dish. Always eating with rice. I never seen any Koreans who are born in Korea hate doenjangjigae. If you have any Koreans you guys see, you hate doenjangjigae, please raise your hand. I can't see anyone. <laughs> that much this is doenjangjigae is really, really important in Korean life. Doenjangjigae is not just a simple food. It has something to do with the Korean culture, our ancestors, and also all this in Korean cuisine. Without doenjang, you can't think about Korean cuisine. I make it with my homemade doenjang. See? Smells so good. This is the same bowl I used when I made the video for the first time eight years ago. <laughs> this is, I came, I moved from Canada to America. I brought this. It's like my friend. So I cannot throw away my friend, isn't it? First, I'm going to use potato, peeled potato, medium size, around one cup. I'll just cut it in small size into around half inch pieces, like cubes. Let's put them into bowl. Onion, around also same amount, one cup. By the way, some people ask me, Mangchi, what's your one cup? What's milliliter? This is American standard, you know, measurement. I got this from Ikea, so cheap. This is one cup, my one cup, it says 240 milliliter. So one cup and cut into Small pieces, around half inch cubes. Whenever I make denjang jjigae, these two items are really essential. It's potato and onion. Then we like to add more, like a vitamin and more texture. I will use this zucchini. So zucchini, around one cup, same amount. Six cups earthenware bowl, we added vegetables, three cups, eh? one cup, one cup, one cup. And then green chili pepper. Green chili pepper really adds nice flavor. Four cloves of garlic. Mince. Next, seven dried anchovy, large size. So head, and here is cut, discard. We are going to use head and also body. Usually, I just only use dried anchovies, body part, and boil. Later, I take it out. Before serving, I take it out each one, one by one, with my chopsticks. But today, I'm going to show you very easy way. It's a kind of pouch. Body part and head part all together. And then here you can make this cover like this. Stash somewhere like this. So I'm going to add this four shrimp, large size, tiger shrimp. Remove the intestine this way. Along the way, on the back part, you can open this. With it. Then you see around here is the intestine part. But this guy doesn't have intestine. Nice. So can you see that? This is a little small thing. This is intestine, this guy. What? Just cut into small pieces. Now we need to add water. 
two and a half cups water. Yeah, almost full. And then let's boil. Medium high heat. And then around 15 minutes after, it starts really boiling. And then we are going to add doenjang. If we use a stainless steel pot, uh, it takes uh, less than this, 15 minutes. Maybe seven, eight minutes later, you need to add soybean paste. Because you know, earthenware pot takes a long time to get heated. And also, it's a cool down very slowly. Heat up slowly, cool down slowly. That's earthenware pot. That's why I love it. <laughs> This is a quarter cup, one tablespoon more, so four or five tablespoons. And cover just half, turn down the heat to medium. And then we are going to cook for 20 minutes. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut this tofu. Cut into small pieces, around half inch cube. Here. So smells good. And then green onion. Chop, chop, chop. Green onion. Okay, time to add the tofu. Let's go. And clean up around here. When is it really hot? Really, you can easily clean. This wet paper towel. Cook another couple of minutes. Today, I didn't prepare many side dishes. I'm going to eat doenjang jjigae and my special kimchi. This is winter kimchi. Uh, I made this almost three months ago. When was it? Like two and a half months ago, I made this. I made this kimchi with my secret stuff. I buried. When I made this kimchi, I posted on my Facebook. Everybody was curious about that. What is inside? What did you bury, Mangchi? I said, oh, I'm going to release this secret a few months later. Today is the time. Wow. Really well fermented and salty. Just a little bit. What is it? This is shrimp. Inside of kimchi, this is naturally cooked. So really tasty. And uh, this is, this is fresh cod. You know, chunk of cod meat. Chunga, this is kind of a sea plant, sea vegetable. Really tasty. We southern part people will love this thing. And add here. Dry the chungak I added. Remove this pouch, anchovy pouch. Green onion. Everybody has a, like a small bowl like this, so that you don't have to double dip. First, rice. Rice. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. 
So good. Mmm. Really savory. Savory taste. But really sweet because of onion. So earthy and salty. And also not greasy and very refreshing. You know, refreshing my throat. That's why all Koreans love denjangjigae. I like to taste my kimchi. Mmm. Okay, I will have some my berries stuff. Shrimp. Cold. Mm. Fermented shrimp, fermented fish, and tastes like kimchi and cooked. Fermented chongak and the sea vegetable. Mm. Mm. Today we made special doenjang jjigae because it's made with special homemade doenjang. This most delicious stew among Korea. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.